Good morning. This is actually my preferred method as a math teacher to teach students who have trouble record, recording numbers on um, in order on a page. A lot of times when you see students multiply, their lines are not very straight and therefore they wind up not necessarily multiplying wrong but adding wrong. So I do like this box method and we're just going to do two two-digit numbers multiplied by each other and as you can see here it doesn't matter the size of the digit because we're not drawing any lines on this one. So essentially on your paper you're just going to draw a tic-tac-toe board when you do two two-digit numbers. And then you're going to take the 52, break that down, 50 plus 2. And I always put my first number vertically on the left-hand side. And I take my last number, and I'm going to put it horizontally across the top. And I take the 17 and do a 10 and a 7. As you can see, you'll just have the lines meet. And I've highlighted this in red, 50 times 10. And if you can't do that quickly, you can just do 5 times 1 and carry down the two zeros. Next, just keep working in any particular pattern. You can go left to right, or you can go up to down. And then I'm going 10 times 2 gives me 20. This is a nice and easy, almost a mental math situation. I'm not having to write this down. Over here, 50 times 7. What is 5 times 7? And then add a 0. And the last box, 2 times 7. See how it gets really easy on the bottom there because you're doing single-digit numbers. So what you're going to now need to do is add up all these solutions that you just got. Your finished multiplying will be, so 500 plus 20, write it down. And then 350 plus 14, write it down. And then you'll just carry off to the side. If you can't do that in your head, you quickly write down 520 plus 364. You can also do your solutions by adding 500 plus 350 to the side and 20 plus 14 and adding those up. And you get 52 times 17. So that's the box method. I hope you now see how easy it is to multiply two two-digit numbers by each other.